Hello everyone and welcome to the earth. Today we are delving into a topic that affects us all, the environment. But we are not just talking about recycling tips or the dangers of climate change, but how various products affect the environment. We are taking we are talking about the surprising environmental impact hidden behind the things we use every day. Have you ever stopped to think about how much a 500 ml water bottle travels before reaching your hands or how much energy goes into making the t-shirt that you are wearing so well yeah let's understand that first so you would be surprised to know that a 500 water bottle emits around 0.12 kg of co2 if you analyze it for the entire delhi city then roughly 2000 million water bottles are consumed in a year which emits around 240000 tons of carbon dioxide now let's understand it with a different example do you know one cotton t-shirt can emit around 2.5 kg co2 and it consumes around 3000 liters of water in its entire life cycle moving on what is lca lca is a life cycle assessment of a product and uh, there are various stages are involved so it starts from resources so first we extract resources then we send it for process it is transported then the processes are uh, conducted and uh, then uh, the product is manufactured and then it is distributed for the use and uh, it is used by the people and uh, thereafter after completion of its life Uh, it goes for end of life so this is the entire process for a product's life cycle and we conduct life cycle assessment of that product moving on let's understand the uh, the life cycle assessment by one example that is uh, life cycle assessment of a coffee so first initially the coffee seeds are planted and uh, fertilizer is uh, given to the plants and then irrigation happens and thereafter uh, the seeds are harvested then uh, uh, primary processing conducted to clean the seeds separate the seeds then the milling and again it is transported and then the seeds are roasted and the packaging takes place and thereafter it is sent for uh, uh, like the usage grinding and brewing and then we have a cup of coffee in our hands so this is the uh, coffee life cycle assessment it's not assessment but it's a coffee life cycle that we understood moving on so there are various steps which are involved in the life cycle assessment so there are four major steps are involved the first is the goal and scope under which the goal is defined that what we want to do in the life cycle assessment of any product second step is the life cycle inventory wherein various data are stored and uh, then we analyze the data and uh, moving on the third step is the impact assessment and the fourth is the interpretation so we will discuss all the steps in details so let's uh, discuss the first step that is goal and scope so in goal we identify the reason for lca and whether it is to compare to product design or to understand a product's environmental impact or to inform sustainable sourcing decisions so these are various goals any goal can be reason for conducting lca and uh, what could be the scope so we define the boundaries of the study whether uh, we want to do it for cradle to gate cradle to gate uh, means uh, when we extract the raw materials it starts from cradle and once it is manufactured then it enters to the gate means it is ready to use so the steps in between cradle to gates are defined under the this category of scope another category can be cradle to grave so in cradle to grave category the product is finally used and it is sent for the reuse or depletion or recycle so 
this is the cradle to grave uh, criteria under this scope the next uh, uh, important parameter in goal and scope is the target audience like who will be using the lca results like consumers businesses or the policy makers the final uh, or the last important uh, aspect of the goal and scope is the functional unit it is very important because it defines the basis for comparison throughout the lca for example the functional unit for a cotton t-shirt should be one t-shirt worn 50 times or just in few slides back we saw that what is the uh, water consumption per t-shirt etc so the so the functionalities unit is very important while conducting lca moving on the second stage is the life cycle inventory so what is it this phase acts like a detective story collecting data on all the inputs resources and outputs emissions associated with the product's life cycle as we saw few slides back the coffee uh, life cycle so whenever any stage is concerned first we uh, analyze the resources like what are the input parameters like water energy fertilizer etc then what is output that is intermediate products so we do it for all the steps all the stages then we do data collection like gather data on materials energy use water consumption transportation waste generation and emissions at each stage of the life cycle then we do data quality that we ensure that the data are accurate and we have reliable sources like industry databases or scientific studies so all these steps are involved in the life cycle inventory moving on the third step in the life cycle assessment is the impact assessment so this phase takes the data from the earlier stage and translates it in, into the environmental impact categories so impact categories might be like climate change water scarcity or the resource depletion and uh, we characterize the data like whatever data we have taken we have uh, calculated and summed it up we convert it into the common units like uh, how many uh, kg co2 equivalent for climate change and uh, like for the easier comparison across the different categories so we do all these things in the third step the fourth is interpretation so what we do in the interpretation like we finally we have the results and we need to draw the conclusion so we interpret the results across all the parameters and finally we conclude based on the analysis we draw some conclusion like what what would be the performance of the product and uh, we also compare products like which product is better in terms of environmental impact which product has the lesser water depletion which product has uh, less water requirement in producing in entire life cycle so these are the interpretation results that we do moving on what are the benefits of lca the first benefit we discuss we are discussing is the resource optimization so by identifying areas of resource inefficiency or waste generation businesses can optimize their processes to save cost and minimize environmental impact another advantage could be competitive advantage like consumers are increasingly becoming more environmentally conscious demonstrating a commitment to sustainability through lca which can enhance a company's brand image and give them a competitive edge in the marketplace third benefit could be sustainable product design like lca empowers businesses to design product with a minimized environmental footprint from the beginning and by considering the entire life cycle during the design phase companies can choose more sustainable materials production processes and end of life options so they can uh, design a sustainable product fourth benefit could be reduced environmental impact so lca helps identify environmental hot hotspot within a product's life cycle and this knowledge allows businesses and consumers to focus on areas for improvement leading to a reduction in energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions water uses and waste generation as we saw in the previous slide the another benefit could be compliance and risk management 
like LCA can help business comply with the environmental regulations and identify potential potential environmental risk associated with their products or processes. This proactive approach can help minimize future liabilities. So these are some of the benefits of the LCA. Now, what are the standards which can be referred for the LCA? So generally, the LCA is conducted by following these standards. This is called ISO 14000 series. 14040 to 44 so these are some of the standards which are used to conduct life cycle assessment of any product so these are basically the guidance standards uh, thank you for watching this video see you soon